Hey guys, I'm BDC. This is Minecraft. We're here on the Minecraft server. This is going to be the future location of the automated flower farm. Now, if you don't know how flowers in Minecraft work, it's very simple. Every single X and Z block, Y is irrelevant, the height is irrelevant, can only place a single flower. And it's always the same one, no matter what. Now, when you use bone meal, there's a chance of three things happening. Either one, nothing happens. Two, you get grass. Or three, you get that flower. And again, that flower will always, always be the same. So I'm going to show you. This is a white tulip. There it is, white tulip. So no matter how many times you destroy this and bone meal it, I'm going to run out of bone meal. Hold on. Let me see if I can... Come on. Come on. I only got a couple of chances. No! Hold on. All right, let's try this one more again. All right, come on, come on. We got this, we got this. We got this. We got this. It worked so well the first time. There we go. No matter how many times you do it, it is always going to be the exact same flower. So if you're going to create a flower farm, you'll know exactly what kind of flowers you're going to get because there's only certain ones that can grow in any particular block. So this is swamp, and this is flower forest. Now this has every flower possible except for the ox eye daisy, which was really disappointing. As you can see, I kept placing grass blocks. A lot of these, a lot of this is grass. These grass blocks are ones that I've placed. This looks kind of like a chunk arrow right here, uh, or kind of like a messed up chunk load or whatever. In any event, I was looking for ox eyes daisies. None. The only place where they are is way over there. So as you can see next to the wooden things, those are going to be the boundaries. And I didn't put one over there. And I'm going to make similar to the wheat farms where you have it staggered. You have, you know, one, uh, let me, let me show you. So you have, you know, one up here, and then it goes down, and then it goes down. Damn it, it goes down. So it's like a stair. And that's what I'm going to do. And the height doesn't matter. This spot, for example, will always be the allium, the aluminum. This one will always be a poppy. This one will always be a zerbluet. So I know that every single flower that I need is in this area right here. So I'm going to have that whole stair system and there's going to be dispensers that will put bone meal on the grass and then water will wash it away and they'll all get collected and sorted and what have you. Now I'm not 100% on how I'm going to set it up because there's going to have to be some delay and stuff with the water flowing down and blah blah blah. So I haven't completely figured it out yet but uh, that is what I will be working on in the live stream over the next couple of days. This was where I was originally going to put it because it's like, oh, there's... Because I wanted blue orchids because that's what I'm going to use. I need the blue orchids for the light blue dye, which is what I've been dyeing the clay for the chicken mini game. And I'll show you that in a minute. But I started using lapis and bone meal to make light blue dye and I'm like, oh my god, I gotta like I had I was using so much of it and lapis is gonna be worth a lot in the next snapshot because you need it for enchanting. So I was like, oh man, I, I like I can't use all this lapis. I was using blocks and blocks and blocks and blocks of it. And I'm like, no. I'm like, I gotta stop. So then I'm like, well I can use the blue orchids, but <laughs> I started like cleaning out my shop, the flower shop, and I'm like, alright. I need to go and make a flower farm so that I can have enough blue orchids so that I can finish my mini game and I can restock the farm. But anyway, so this area would have been perfect except there's no ox eye daisies here. If there was, it would have been it would have been ideal. I could have had a very small farm and it would have been perfect. But sadly there is no ox eyes there. So my option was to either have a larger one or to have two separate ones and I opted to just make one larger one. So I think once this area starts filling in over here, 
I should probably get all the flowers I need, and I might not need it to come out all the way down here. So we'll have to see. I need to fill in the area entirely first. All right. So I am going to... Hmm. Uh, I'm probably not going to collect this up yet. I'm going to leave these flowers right here. But I am going to head back to the uh, nether area, and I'm going to show you some stuff there. So we'll be back. Okay, so back at the spawn, refilled my chicken from the delicious, delicious royal chicken. Mm. Man, I gotta say, I am so glad that I made that. It has made getting food so friggin' easy. I mean, you don't have to... You don't have to do anything. Like, well, actually, no, correction. Every now and again, I have to go and fix it. But I think it's 100% now. It should be 100% for the foreseeable future. But it just, oh, man, it just makes everything so easy because it's all automated. You just go in there. You take a nice, delicious plate of chicken and just, oh, it's, it's, wonder, it's wonderful. Wonderful. Now, someone did, in fact, use this. It was, uh, I believe it was generic. He said he used it. He thought it was hilarious. So, I'm going to leave that up for a little while longer. Probably going to leave this up for like a week or something. Then I'm going to rip it down. Also, some other people <laughs> have commented on the signs. Uh, they thought it was kind of funny. Uh, although, you know what's... Speaking of, uh, there was some, like, people who made comments in the last video. They're like, you're such a jerk for doing that. It's like, dude... Get a sense of humor, seriously. Anyways, all right. So I'm gonna go into the, I'm gonna go into the Nether, and I'm gonna show you a little bit uh, what I, what I was working on there. And then we're gonna try to make a more compact version of something, which I don't know if I showed you this or not. I don't think I showed you guys this. The people in the live stream saw this, but I don't think you did. If you're just if you only watch the the videos, all right. So this is the um, is that jump boost? Oh yeah. Why the hell? Haste and jump boost. Why do we have haste and jump boost? I don't know. Whatever. Or yeah, haste. I, I was thinking like speed, but in any event, let's go. It doesn't last all the way over here, unfortunately. It kind of cuts off. So I decided to go with stained clay. Because just making everything with stone or stone brick, it just, I don't know, man. It just, it's just kind of blah. You know what I mean? It looks like a cage, and that's not really what I'm going for. So this is going to be the roof. This is light blue stained clay. I had to use light blue because blue stained clay doesn't appear blue. It appears purple. So light blue is kind of a it's a it's a bluish purple, but it's close enough. So we're gonna use that, and I, I just like the way that the stained clay looks. So the mini game itself is going to be down here. It's going to be underneath it. So this is the roof. This is where all the redstone is gonna be, and this is just to keep the ghasts out. There will be walls all around the the perimeter. All right. So let me show you this over here. This is a machine. I don't... Wait, did I show you this? I don't know if I showed you this or not. Did I? I can't remember. That's the problem with the live stream and, uh, and the recorded videos. Anyways, this is part of the mini game. Uh, this is a system where the chicken lays an egg. It goes into the uh, dispenser. If the game has not started yet, nothing happens. There's a chicken currently loaded up into the chamber. When the game starts, you press the button, the chicken will fall out of the out of the chamber, and then it will start shooting out eggs until another chicken is spawned, and then that shuts it off. So that's basically how this works. This is kind of large and ugly, and someone uh, by the name of uh, Evil Demon who is a uh, frequent watcher of the stream, created a more compact version. That's what I'm going to try to make now. 
So I'm going to make that, and then I will be back in a second. All right, I have completed construction of the second chicken chamber. This is the modified version. <laughs> this is the modified version of the chicken chamber that I made. This was made by Evil Demon. I'm not 100% on this design, though. I'm going to put it in the description of this video, so if you want to go and check it out. It certainly is more elegant than my design. It's got, you know, the cool little dropper system right there, whereas I just have kind of crap. It doesn't seem to be too much of a space saver, which it really wasn't an issue to begin with anyways. Also, I'm not really 100% on clocks like this. The reason being is if the server gets shut down or crashes or what have you, I might have to come back and jumpstart all of them, and I don't like doing that. Uh, I don't know if that has been fully resolved, but the less stuff that's constantly moving, the better. Anyways, all right, so how this one works is you come over here, you hit this button, it will release the chicken if there is one, and then it will start firing off eggs. And it will keep firing them until a chicken. However, that did fire an extra one, and I think that's because I did not set the delays properly on the repeaters over here. So that's probably my fault. Actually, I know that's my fault. So we're going to set those delays. There we go. That should be plenty of time. Now let's fire it up. I don't know if we're going to get another chicken in there, though. Oh, we did first try. Look at that. Awesome. Nope, it's still going. Well, that's an issue. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, let me see. There's another one. Oh, and there's another one. Oh, and another one. Uh-oh. And now it's totally shut off. Oh, that's because there's no eggs in there. All right, well, um, I might have messed this up. It's entirely possible I messed this up. I probably did. I didn't have a lamp, so I just put a torch up here. All right, well, some combination of this one and this one will be used in the game. What are you looking at? Will be used in the game. And I'm not going to set those up until I have this completely done. Once this is totally done, once this floor is totally done, excuse me, the ceiling. Well, technically it's it's the ceiling and the floor. Not the same, whatever. <sighs> All right, so once this is up, I'm going to figure out where I want the chicken chambers because there's gonna have to be several of them. I'm probably gonna have well, I don't know. You know what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of them, maybe? Maybe eight. Maybe ten. We'll figure it out. I'll have to... I'll have to see. I'll have to see. Oh, did you see him? He just, like, hurtled... Oh, it looked like he hurtled it. No, he didn't. He's stuck. Oh, gee! Oh, apparently he's... He is up on top. It looked like he was down below and then he was up top anyways all right so once i get the floor done i'll be able to start putting in the right well no correction i have to put the floor in and then i have to put the walls in because otherwise i'm still gonna have to deal with freaking ghasts oh you know what oh, it's possible ghasts could spawn in here too Ooh, i'm gonna have to well you know what i can i can resolve that by simply placing another rack every so many blocks because they need like what it's like a four i think it's a five by five and then i think they need a five by five and then four high so i like any open space i can just do this and this will prevent the ghasts that won't be an issue yeah all right so that 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 won't be a big deal all right let's see here yeah i'm gonna have to i, I mentioned on 
the live stream, this is, feels like a lot like Feed the Beast, because in Feed the Beast, which is going to be starting hopefully soon, by the way. In order to, like, I would be like, oh, I want to make this thing. I want to make, I want to make, I want to make this, you know, this thing right here. I want to make this. How do I make this? Oh, in order to make that, you need to make oh this machine. Oh, in order to make this machine, you need that machine, and that machine, and this. It's like, <sighs> so then you make this, and then you make, th and it's like, oh, but in order to make this, you need three of these. Oh, and you need to go and get one of those, and you need to build one of these. It's like, fr frick. It's like, I just want to, I just want to build the thing. And it's like, oh. <laughs> you end up, you end up uh, making all these prerequisite things. Oh, God, such a, I mean, I understand why. But it was just, like, such a pain. It's like, uh, Anyways. That's kind of how I feel here, because in order to finish this, I need light blue dye. In order to get light blue dye, I kind of have to finish the... I kind of have to finish the flower farm. So, I don't know. Oh, you know what else I need suggestions for? I need suggestions for a good sorting system. A good sorting system, because the one that I use is not really that efficient. If you've seen the royal chicken one, basically, I just have... Let me... Do I have any rail around here? I can show you real fast. Okay, I don't have any rail. All right, well, we'll have to pretend, all right? So just imagine that this is, you know, the rail, and there'll be a cart that goes over it with uh, a chest... And then there are, there's like a hopper here, and then there's a hopper here, and then there's a hopper here. All right. And seriously, guy? I just killed your little brother over there. Oh, that's probably why he's mad. Come on. Get out of here. All right. So there'd be... This is the rail line. You got the chest... Uh, the the Dude, seriously? You got the cart going across. Hopper, hopper, hopper. And then this hopper would have... The magic number is 18... Uh, I don't have any hoppers. Hoppers. 18 in the first slot, and then one in all the others. And what that will do is it will prevent anything else from going into there. And you can then have it set up with, like, a little comparator. And then uh, a line or something that will trigger a minecart that comes down. And it comes and gets it. And it takes a couple of them out. And then it goes and it drops it off. And then it comes back and it grabs some more. It's not the most efficient sorting system so if you know of any please by all means uh, i think the uh the zip crowd made one with like a ton of hoppers but the problem with all those hoppers is they create a lot of lag on the server so um, if you know of a good sorting system that doesn't have like a boatload of hoppers all connected to each other uh, please let me know anyways all right so i i do have a lot of work that i'm gonna have to do Gotta go and get a lot of fall hours and all that other stuff. So I'm gonna end this one here. Unfortunately, this one is already late. It's after five right now, and it was supposed to go up at 4:30. Sorry about that. Anyways, all right. So I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you for watching. Certainly would appreciate it if you hit that like button. Remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault.